Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. Throughout my tutorials, I will teach you Java using just Notepad and the command prompt. The order in which my tutorials are organized on both my website at javacjava.com and my YouTube playlist is designed to maximize learning by building on concepts from prior tutorials. This tutorial is about some of the common methods in the ArrayList class. I'm going to open up my web browser to javacjava.com, my website, select begin. Let's scroll down here to the <coughs> Excuse me, ArrayList common methods. Now there are many methods in the ArrayList class that have advanced parameter list types and or return types, and I will tackle those methods on an individual basis. Let me go over to the uh, ArrayList documentation here. All right. Um, so I've done quite a few, like the add, the add all, uh, clear clone, and for each, right? I'm going to do some of the more simple ones here, like for example, contains, get, index of, is empty, and so on and so forth. There's a lot of ones like, for example, iterator. I haven't gone over what an iterator, the iterator interface yet, or the list iterator interface. Um, like, for example, remove all. We've got a collection uh, in there. Here's a remove if and predicate interface there. Unary, unary operator. I think I'm pronouncing that right, hopefully. But anyway, that's an interface. That's a functional interface, too, as well. Collection and so on and so forth. Splitterator, you know. All that stuff, I'm going to do these on an individual basis because they're just, you know, they, they do require a lot more, a lot more in-depth explanation on some of those, that stuff, because you'll be learning new concepts. And the reason why I'm spending so much time on the ArrayList class is because it, as far as like the collections um, framework goes, it's a really good one to, to spend a lot of time on a lot of these methods there because there's just so many, um, there's the ones that are very similar to like the ArrayList class the, for example, a vector, right? Um, a vector is very similar to, you know, uh, the array list here, right? It has a, a lot of the same methods in it too, right? So spending all this time on the array list class will allow us to basically learn, learn the uh, vector classes too as well. You know, it has a few, few different ones there, but for the most part, it's like 90% the same stuff there, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just pop back to that and pop into this. So, in this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to use some of the simple common methods of the ArrayList class. First one, Boolean contains, right? We pass it, uh, returns true if an element contains the object argument. Okay, next one is get. That returns the element at the index argument, right? Next one is index of, returns the index of the first occurrence of the object argument, right? So that'll be an int return type. Next one is is empty, returns true if the array list has no elements, Boolean return type. Last index of, returns the index of the last occurrence of the object argument. And that is an int return type, parameter of object. Now set replaces the element at the index with the second parameter, right? So we can specify the index that we want to replace and the element we want to replace it with. Now it returns back the element that um, that was there before we replaced it. And you'll see that in the code there. So, And then size. Size is really simple. No parameters. Returns the number of elements in the current array list instance as an int type. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and come down here. <clears throat> Excuse me, highlight all this source code, control C to copy, or right click and select copy. It's gonna be a fairly simple tutorial today, not a lot of concepts to learn. I've got a shortcut to the command prompt on my desktop here, but if you don't have one, you can create one by right clicking, selecting new shortcut, CMD next and finish. It's just that easy. Let's open that up, type in Java C, which is Java compiler command. Press enter on that. You should see all this stuff scroll by. Now, if you receive an error message, watch my tutorial on installing the Java Development Kit. I'll make sure you get that installed and configured properly before continuing. CLS to clear the screen, cd space backslash cd short for change directory backslash tells you to go to the root. I'll make a directory right off the root called Java with the md command. I already have that folder, but if you don't, it'll create it for you. Okay, let's change directories to the Java folder. Let's make a directory here called array list common methods. Okay, CD, and then hit tab on the keyboard to change directories to that folder there. And I'm on a notepad, array list common methods dot java. That'll be the name of my source code file, also known as a compilation unit. Okay, let's go ahead and paste this stuff in here. 
really very simple today here. We're doing import Java util package here and all the classes there. I suppose I could have done just array list and arrays. So the only two that I'm getting out of there, but just the star is easy. Okay, uh, single class, main method entry point right here. Array list of number, right? So basically any subclasses of the number class, which includes all of, you know, the, the primitive wrapper classes, integer, byte, double, float, that sort of stuff will be allowed into my new array list. And this is the, where the inf, basically I infer this as a number type using the syntax where I leave it blank right there. Judges scores is a reference variable to our new array list. All right, um, let's go ahead and just come up here and save this. And most of the stuff is going to be pretty self-explanatory in the in the once we compile it and run it here. Okay, let's compile that. Let's clear our screen, Java to run it. Invoke that. Okay, so right off the bat, judges scores, which is our array, our array list here, right? That's basically like, okay, think of it like uh, Olympics or something or other, where you got like six said, six judges up there and they're giving their scores, you know, one through ten, you know. So um, to start off, is empty, that returns true. And then I'm basically going here and I'm doing judges scores, invoking the add all method, and I'm passing it, you know, the arrays class as list method will build a list type object, and then we can just basically populate our array list with these six objects, right? Um, all of these will be pretty much like double wrapper class objects, except for this one here, that would be an integer. I suppose I could have scrolled through with a for each statement show, uh, invoking the get class to show you that, but we're just out of boxing to wrapper objects, okay? Um, so now you can see displaying it to the console here, right, judges scores equals and then that shows you what's in the current array right there then invoking the is empty method again false the size is six right one two three four five six that's good okay judges store dot contains right 8.7 does it contain 8.7 no it does not false contains 9.3 yep here it is on index number three zero one two three right true Okay, if we do index of 9.1, right? 9.1 is at index zero. Last index of 9.1, you can see I got two 9.1s in there, one at zero, one, two, three, and four, right? For last index of on that. Index of 8.1, well, I don't have anything in there, so that returns back negative one, and last index of 8.1 returns negative one, two as well if it's not found. Okay, um, the next one here, get index three, right? Zero, one, two, three, that's 9.3 right here, so that looks pretty good there. Now here's a set method, this one's kind of interesting there. So set uh, doesn't return back any sort of like a Boolean value, it returns back the previous value there. So set at index number three, which we know is 9.3, we wanna set that to 9.99. Now that will return back the, um, basically the, the value prior to it replacing the value there, right? So we're gonna place 9.3 with 9.99. That'll return us back the 9.3. And then displaying judges scores, the, uh, the array here, 9.1, 8.9, 10. 9.9, .9, you'll notice changed here, right? Otherwise we got 9.1, 9.4. So that's the way the set method, set method is a little strange on its return type, but hey, whatever, that, uh, that's good. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this and close out of that. And I don't really have any final thoughts for today. So that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.